Oh, welcome to Unbridled Horror, an interesting, interesting looking demo to a game that has a Indiegogo page. So link in the description below if you like this game and want to support it. Link in the description below. Otherwise, I'm going to try out this demo and see how it is. The screenshots look nice, everything looked nice, and the graphic options look nice. Hopefully the gameplay, oh, so far so smooth. Smooth. Wait, why is this... Wait, this is familiar. In a good and bad way. Did I already play this a long time ago? I swear to god I have. It's like a... supposed to be a PT clone, right? Yeah, I remember this. Did I ever upload it? I'm going to check on my YouTube channel, see if I actually uploaded Unbridled Horror before. It's either I did, or I recorded it, but I got stuck and then I never uploaded it. Alright, so I checked, and I was right, I, I hadn't uploaded it, but I know I played this game before. It's like a PT-esque horror game, where... I can't remember. I just remember those spooks, and I think there's some cheap jump scares, and then the floor here opened up at one point, and things. There's like a there's puzzles of things that are there don't exist otherwise. Like this exists, but it doesn't really exist. I can't remember. I really, really can't remember. But I might as well just record again, because it apparently it was uploaded 30 days ago. I haven't played it, but it's been on itch.io for a while now. Maybe they've upgraded and made the game better. Um, I can't remember enough for me to feel like... Oh, I can't remember for the... I can't remember all of it of what I previously played, to the point where I think I can replay it without feeling like it's disingenuous. So in order to get through this door... Oh, okay, never mind. We just had to get closer to it. Hand and eye, who made these weird drawings? See, like, there's a hand here. But where's the eye? Isn't there an eye somewhere around here? Maybe later. I don't know if I'll be doing the same thing of just playing this and then giving up. Or maybe the game's improved and I'm, I'll just upload whatever it is I play. We'll see. I can't remember when it was I played it last. Hmm. You can stop hyperventilating now, girl. Seriously. Maybe you need some water. Hmm. 
stores 50 HP and stamina. I think our HP should be fine, but... Mm. So yeah, we're going basically as you would expect in a loop, and things just change repeatedly. Like, now there's a door here. It's locked. If I find a key, I will open it. I had a key. Whatever happened to that one? So we have an inventory. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, for notes. Alice has found the phone in one of the rooms. If she remembers the phone number, she can call home. Nothing in the diary, and... First aid kit detoxification. This strange inventory system for HP and shit. I'm not sure if, like, we're gonna get physically attacked and we'll need that. Because we got sort of, like, a, a Resident Evil, you know, like... Um, health bar on the bottom right, and stamina, I think, on the bottom left. Big spooky spooky man. He's definitely not behind me. I drew it when I was five. How did it get here? Roar. Wait. Wasn't that the wreck? Maybe it's just a royalty-free creature. But the only thing I did, I remember I dislike about the game is the, you look at the icon on the bottom left, the flashlight. The game selectively disables when you can and can't have the flashlight on. It's one of the horror tropes I'll always bitch about. It's like, why the fuck are you... You have some kind of supernatural control over a flashlight. It's, I find it an annoying trope. Ugh, it's like, a flashlight is either useful or it isn't. To be like, oh no, no, no flashlight now, you gotta have it off. To make it spooky. You gotta make things spooky whether you have a flashlight or not, or like having a flashlight will think make things worse. But instead it's just like Oh, the flashlight's disabled, you're not allowed to use it. It's like fourth wall breaking in a way. Because it's the developer saying you can't use it, rather than the game universe itself providing reason with why you can't use it. Can't even open that drawer now. Press and hold the V button. Hold. Why? Oh! I got rid of my calmness, or? I'm no longer hyperventilating. Is that what the bottom left meter's for? Okay. Sure. Nothing opens. Okay, next door then. So, I don't know, maybe the bottom left was like heart rate because... You're scared shitless. Did a chair get assaulted and I didn't see it? Or was it this? Don't like horror games. Assaulting chairs. It's always the same. Clubs, clubs, diamond, diamond. Something's in the fridge. Ah. We have no reflection. Key! I'll take. So wait, actually, if the health is on the top left, then what's on the bottom right? I sort of like how the camera sort of guides you to... ...to, uh... 
to semi look where it wants you to look, but it doesn't seem... Mm, it's a mix of it is jolting, but at the same time it's sort of not. I'm not sure if other people would dislike it or be okay with it. Like, it's like they take the control away from the player. This place looked different back then, someone has changed it. One could argue taking control away from the player is always bad, but if it's very subtle, very quick, like right, what just happened now, the person looking left or right for a narrative experience, and I guess one could argue for both sides. One, lose, like, the player losing control is always a bad thing. Always give them control, like if you're in a horror game, like let's say Dead Space, where Dead Space is very little cutscenes in which you don't stand there yourself having full control of your movement and character and to shoot things or that narration can still happen while you're being attacked by necromorph sort of thing you don't want to lose control or give uh take away control for narrative experiences typically but it uh, it just depends both can be used well as for when or when not to i i wouldn't be the expert to ask everyone can have their opinions on that all I know is I want to know what the fuck those shiny things are, and why I can't open this. Maybe at some point we will. For now, though, this whole phone thing, I gotta... Maybe I gotta dial a phone if I find the phone. I swear it's in the other, other room. Yeah, there's the pit that I said went missing. What we gotta do... The spoilers... Um, our, our flashlight battery is garbage, by the way. We have to see if we look here. It's there. We gotta look at this and be like, Oh yeah, the floor totally exists. There's no hole in the floor. <laughs> Absolutely none. And don't fall for that jump scare. I didn't remember it, but my brain remembered it as soon as it happened. My brain works super fast, you see. I'll be keeping the flashlight off to charge it, though. I'm curious about this whole turning my eyes... Stick turning my eyes off, that's... If you're closing your eyes and blinking like this, you're you're turning off your eyes, okay? It's not blinking, it's turning off your eyes. It's it's your eyes going on sleep mode. Think of it like a computer. Why not? Nico is going into sleep mode, okay? I don't know. Turning off your eyes sounds funnier than sleep mode. Sleep mode obviously is when you only go to bed. But that's enough of me ranting, by the way. <laughs> Okay. I'd say we should walk in the center, but... Eh, we Flowers. Or not. What? Oh, the rocking chair. It's almost like uh, that we're not closing our eyes. It's almost like a, a pinhole effect. I think it's called the pinhole effect. Where it's like you, you sort of narrow off and only, um, I sort of use it when I'm uploading shit, when I'm just wake up from sleep and I don't want to have a blinding light in my face. Like, say, if you, if you, like, cover your eyes like this and you only have, like, a little crack open, then bright lights won't be able to get into your retina as much. And you'll be able to see things a little better or more clearly without needing to use squinting, because squinting damages... Your eyes muscles. Squinting is bad, don't do it. It damages your eyes and tendons that help make it so your eyes can be focused. And permanent damage, mind you, so you don't want to squint. These have been these have been some weird as fuck rambles in this video. Everything's upside down now. But as you all can tell, it's very PT like. Where the fuck's the phone? The phone only randomly appears sometimes. Oh. That's some hardcore sex, I guess. Jesus Christ, the ghost had sex so hard it fucking flipped the mattress. I'm in poltergeist mode. Apple! No phone, so I don't care about this room. Actually. Aha! My beloved husband... 12? What? 
Uh, hello, honey. You've missed the important part of your daughter's life. She was really upset that you didn't show up. Why can't? Why you can't move some stuff around and be here for us just once? It's 11.01 p.m. and you're not here. I lie down and rise alone because you're always leaving early and coming late. I miss you so much. And so does Alice. Jeez. How dare you be a father who works to support her- support our family, you fucking sexist. Fucking working, like, late hours to make it so we can have food on the table in the shelter overhead. Why didn't you- why didn't you show up for her birthday? Jeez, how dare you be at work, bigot. Sounds like an ungrateful wife, jeez. You can't just say, your daddy's busy, he's at work, working up to 11 p.m. Yeah, I don't know. Probably the husband's like cheating, and that's the whole story. Or husband's dead. Who the fuck knows? I swear, I run to the phone. I don't know. I'm gonna just make this one whole episode, unless it's super too long. So I think this is still a demo, not the full game. But I'll try to do as little editing as possible, just so you guys can get sort of the full-on immersion. <clears throat> because it's not like anything is filler, like, say, uh, the beast inside where I was throwing shit around. But rather, uh, all of this is sort of new. Like, every time we obviously go to a new room, something's different, something new can happen. It's not same, 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 different, same, same. It's every time it's different. Or perceived to be different, or assumed to be different. The eye again. Eye and hand. Hmm. What if we look at it with our eyes closed? No. Everything's very similar. Like at the start. Electrocute me. Weirdly, I look at that green... I see a necromorph. That's weird. Like a green necromorph. Like, there's the head. Oh, no, the flashlight's going. I can't see it as well now. Weird. A green necromorph. Let's go with that. Nah, maybe this is what they wanted me to see. I don't know what the exclamation mark on the bottom right is. It's just that I can interact with it, or... Possibly. I swear I could interact with a lot more, though, before. I wonder if I've just been missing things. Seem to be missing a key, but at the same time... I'm also missing... Not just a key that I might have missed... Muscle the phone. Uh, Alright. We're looping now, so it's either we're looping because we missed something, or we're looping for some other reason, but we were back at this painting where the creature showed up before. I... This is sort of, I think, what happened before then. I got stuck, I didn't know what I was doing, and I just stopped playing after giving up. So it might happen again, who knows? Actually, there was that whole puzzle, though. Wait, there's also that. Maybe in this entire room, there's... There's a diamond diamond club club. There's one club. Hmm, there's no way we can touch... Oh! Oh! I guess that was a puzzle there, but... Interesting. Oh. Weird. Maybe that was just the puzzle all along. Because I remember seeing Club Club Diamond Diamond on the wall. Hmm. There. Club Club Diamond Diamond. If I hadn't already solved it. Anything in the fridge? God damn it, chair. Hmm. 
I'm gonna get the same jump scare, maybe. Hmm. So at this point, we're just looping, and besides at least solving the club club, um, club club diamond diamond, I'm probably in the same place I was the last time I recorded this and never uploaded it. Or just I don't know what the game wants for me to do to move on. There's the door that is locked and we need a key. This one I can't even touch, but I don't know where the key is. Or the telephone. Or to do this. Oh, phone. There we go. The phone is still working, I can call home. Damn it. I don't remember any phone numbers. I only remember the last two of it is 24. That was probably what I needed to do then. Part of the phone number, 24. Now we had to find out the rest of it. And then come back to this exact room with the, the pedals. Oh, well, there's more of it, I guess. Oh, well. While Asa was hanging around the house and trying to remember at least one phone number, she started thinking that the bloody prince can mean something. Great. It's the hand prints or these? Like, is that a hint? Hmm. I'm going to assume they mean only the hand prints. Say it. So the, so the rest of this is just finding the notes that tells me what I need to do. Hmm. Satan! Something about Satan. Of course. Of course. A note from the unknown. Alice found the book with the devil symbols. She decided not to open it, so she burned it in the fireplace. Oh. Okay, well, we just sort of left that room. So, like, we could maybe look around and see how many handprints there are in this room. Like, there is one. But literally having to look at, over every corner just to look for handprints, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight on the wall. I, I guess I can write it down. Fuck me, I don't know. It's, it's difficult to say, though. There's eight. Let's say if we divided it in the rooms, let's say this is R1. There's eight, and there's also one. Or we could think of it as nine. We could add them too. Let's fuck this flashlight though. Because there's one handprint that's hidden down here, which is probably detrimental. And then this upside down room. There is... we just need... I'm gonna let the bat of the fucking flashlight recharge. Okay, the flashlight doesn't seem to be fucking recharging, but either way. There's one handprint here. And... One, two, three, four. So hopefully we can maybe solve the puzzle. And I don't know, but there's a... One, two, three, four, and then... One. And of course the one there. So let's say is it four, right? One, two, three, four. This one has four one one. I don't know if I'd be you know, it's thinking it's just four one one or it's six. Who the fuck knows? This one had the eye and the hand on a piece of paper. Yeah, that, that, that note right there. That's the only one in this room, so maybe we can count that as one in room three. Who the fuck knows if that'll actually turn into a phone number, though. Because we're not confirming it by script, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be dialing the phone number based on uh, memory and manually or not. Let's see, this room has... My flashlight wasn't so fucking trash because I need to fucking see. But the game's flashlight wants to turn off so much. 
hands. When hands are important and I can't fucking see shit. So basically what I'm going to be doing is if... By the time I reach the foam and... I don't get these blood splotches. I wonder if this would be the clue instead of the hands. Like some rooms just have... Maybe not those, but... I don't know if the blood splotches are what they want me to look at for telephone. Like, there's two there, and then these. This one has two splots. These ones have one. Maybe they're the phone number. Oh wait, this has a lot of hands. Hmm. So what am I going to do? Well, a lot of hands in here, though. Maybe that would count. Alright, back here. Do I have the number? I need to remember the phone number. I don't, I, I don't know. Because there's something about the V key and hands and vision and maybe just maybe these blood splotches on the paper because otherwise i uh, don't know if there's a way we could like say look at the hands hit e and be like oh so that's how many but it's not letting me you know pick up the phone and be like okay what's the number because i got one room that has eight hands or eight plus one. I got another one with four and one and one individually. There's something about the hands as as noted. Uh, not not that one. She's starting to think that bloody prince can mean something. So it means the game is relying us on a script that is programmed where we. You know, like, we, we hit something, the game acknowledges that we know something, rather than us manually dialing the number and figuring out a puzzle. So then my question is, what is it I'm manually, or not manually, but what am I automatically meant to register into the game script for the, the game to know that I do have the phone number? Because we're not guessing or brute forcing or solving it manually. And we got, like, hands all over this fucking place. Oh wait, two? Motherfucker, why why is it there that now? Fuck me, okay, never mind. Appar apparently we're I mean just two, yeah, okay. Maybe it's not about the hands then. It's uh then what about this one? Well, Maybe we're figuring out. I just had to follow the hands, like look down. But the right rooms, like specific. I don't know. I'm gonna skip ahead, I'm wasting too much time rambling. Oh, maybe I had to follow the hands instead, and not with V even. No, something new. I'm here. Oh, hey, the hand. 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 One. Oh. Shit. Okay, we got an actual number. Fuck you. We actually took damage. We, a we got a number. We actually got a new fucking number. Hmm. Gotta close our eyes. Could be invisible here with us and hitting us and shit. So much for needing a fucking key. So we got another number. Okay. I locked online on the developer website and I did give up. I did. I remember giving up on this game. I'm getting actually further than I did before. 
Um, I don't know if I'd make this a two or more part series, but I'll just quit rambling and skip ahead until I find numbers. If I stop finding numbers and give up, then I just will say I gave up and just end it there. But I looked online on the game store page and other people are just saying they did not find the phone number themselves. So I, I want to I wanna be the one to find out. I want to do it. I want to be the one. So anyone who else who's like looking for a guide or trying to figure it out and I beat it, it'd be a good feeling. But otherwise, I might give up. We got two numbers though, so that's something to feel good about. What I'm curious about is this potential puzzle. We got hands here, but not on the other side. Nothing on the ceiling. The hands are going up. Closing our eyes does nothing. It's, it's, like a, it's just a puzzle, a weird thing about it. I don't know. There's a hand on the window and a hand over there. That is what I think needs to drop. I can't remember if in my other recording that I never uploaded that I got this to drop because there's hands in there. I can't crouch, just to let you guys know. But it's just a hand in there. How do I find the number in this room? I don't know. I have footsteps. Footsteps. Hands. Lead me to more clues, please. Hand. 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 Should maybe be a code, but... Just a lot of handprints. Oh. It's his death on the door in reverse. Well, cool. How about... The baby hand's given me a number. No. No number. Well, I guess that's cool. What if it's death down there? Or if I can solve the puzzle this way? Hmm. Yeah, it does look pretty stabby, stabby death down there. I don't know. Oh. Oh. Do, 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 do I get a checkpoint? Do I lose anything? No. Okay. Ah. Okay, can I... Fuck off? Kindly? Why? Oh, oh. Why? That was new. I, I tried closing my eyes. I tried... Shaking? Shaking, closing my eyes didn't work. The game didn't tell me to hit a button to fuck, like... To throw him off, so... Is he just invisible and I can just get the fuck out of here? Jesus. No idea. We got two numbers. Come on. Damn it. God damn it again. Come on. Fuck off. Yeah, okay. Just random thing snaps my neck randomly. You are dead. I'm just gonna give up. Fuck it. I don't know. I got two numbers. I got two numbers. I don't know what the fuck the game wants. Apparently not really. I don't know if there's any walkthrough on YouTube where someone has found more codes or they know what the fuck they're doing. But it's just like the last time I played this and never uploaded it, I just never beat it. I gave up and I just didn't want to upload and be like, yeah, I didn't beat it. Sorry guys, I probably won't try it again. If you guys want to try it, it's free. You can download it in the description down below. You can give it a try yourself and see if you can get further. Further than me, at least, or further than anyone else. But outside of that, I mean, there's hands everywhere. I don't know how to activate them. I got two numbers. I don't know why it appeared, or... Like, if I need to trace, I need to blink at it. I, I don't... I don't fucking know. The game doesn't tell you. It's not very specific. It's like, try everything. Hey, come on, where, where's the number? Where's... Is, is, 
that's probably over there, but it's like, what about this? What, why is that? Follow the hands. And don't die randomly. I, I don't fucking know. You know, so I don't know. I'll leave it here. I'm gonna cut down a fuck ton of the episode, so it's just maybe 20 or 20 to 30 minutes of me playing this, but even without beating it, I don't know. I tried it two times, one of the past. I'm not sure if it's as far as I got, or the same. I just can't remember, who knows. But nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, the spookiness this game had, whether the cheap jump scares, or just because it's PG-like. I just hope you enjoyed it overall. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, hit that bell notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Mm -hmm.